Hey, have you thought about getting into GPS, but you're not sure which device is perfect for you or what your application needs? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over the four basic accuracy levels and what a constellation is, the difference between GNSS and GPS. I'm Rael from Benchmark, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is what a constellation is. So there's a group of satellites that orbit the Earth and there's four main groupings. There's GPS, which is originating in the US. There's Galileo, which is from the European Union. There's GLONASS, which is a Russian. And then there's Beidou, which is the Chinese constellation. And you need a receiver, so like this, or your phone, or an RTK receiver, to connect to those satellites to tell you where you are on the face of the Earth. The next thing we're gonna do is talk about the different levels of accuracy and which one's perfect for your application. So the first thing we're gonna start with is the least accurate solution. And that's just a simple receiver like what you find in your phone. This allows you to connect to the satellites but only gives you a level of accuracy from one to five meters. So an application like this would be useful if you're driving, say. So the GPS in your car is this level of accuracy most of the time. You might need something a little bit more advanced like a sub-meter receiver. So our next level of accuracy is sub-meter. So this is really good if you're locating culverts or particular utility lines somewhere out in the field in the forest. This is really great and an awesome bang for your buck. You can put it right on your vest, you can put it on a pole and have it with a data collector. It's a really good solution for things that require sub-meter level accuracy but don't require centimeter level accuracy. So our next level of accuracy is 10 cents. And the way we accomplish that is we use a sub-meter receiver and then we add a subscription service called L-Band. So that, uh, examples of that are a Trimble service, there's also Atlas, and Galileo is producing their own free service in a few months as well. So with that subscription, using your sub-meter receiver, you're gonna have 10 cents accuracy. That's really helpful for precision navigation, such as agriculture or marine. So if those are your applications, this is your solution. So our last and most accurate version of GPS, GNSS, is something called RTK. This stands for real-time kinematics, and this is an example of it. So this is the Hemisphere S631 receiver. So you would have this, which is a rover, and then you would have a base somewhere else. And what that's gonna do is it's going to communicate with the satellites twice. And then they're going to communicate with each other, this receiver here, and the base over there. And they're gonna add an additional level of corrections, giving you centimeter level accuracy. So if you're doing something where you're a legal surveyor or you're constructing or you're putting up a building where you need high levels of accuracy with minimal hassle, this is a perfect solution. So, to review, we have GNSS, which is our overlapping term. Under that, we have GPS, which is the common term you hear. If we're talking about levels of accuracy, from least accurate to most accurate, we have tablets like your cell phones, things like that. We have submeter receivers, then we have submeter receivers with subscriptions on L-band, and then we have RTK, which is the most precise. Now, these vary tremendously in price from a couple dollars to tens of thousands of dollars, but give me a call, Real, with Benchmark, and I'll find the perfect solution for you. My number is 587-844-5838. Chat with you soon.